Hey everybody, JB here. Excited you're with me on the channel today. Today is a Tech Tuesday and we're going to talk about one of my favorite things, the Zoom F1 field recorder. And I have some earphones in right now because one of the cool things about this little recorder is you can actually listen to the sound before you start recording it. So you check your sound and then what you can do is pop out your earphones and you know you're ready to go. I trust this thing so much. I don't even uh, use the earphones anymore. I just tape it up underneath my chest. Uh, I use a Rode lavalier mic. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I use. And then I just plug it in and this thing's ready to go. One of the cool things about this Zoom little mic is it actually has one of the Zoom uh, inputs where you can actually put microphones on it and you could actually just set it in front of you if you wanted to. But I use it with the um, the main thing that I use it with, and that is the lavalier mic, uh, which I, I just put, pull up my shirt, I use some athletic tape, and then uh, it's stuck there and it's ready to go. Um, I will show you a little bit of the equipment here in a minute. My standard shotgun mic on, on most of my cameras is a Rode. In fact, I'll show you a picture of the one that I'm using right now. Here is the lavalier that I'm using. This is the mic, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna right now, go to the boom mic so you can see there's not much of a difference because I'm pretty close and we're indoors so the shotgun does a really good job but typically I always lob up anyways um, and let's get off the mic and back to the zoom now so now we're back to the zoom because the quality is just better and and the cool thing about this mic I can take it anywhere and I can use any camera with it so even if I'm using one of my little smaller cameras I have the ability to get good audio because of uh, this zoom now you may look at one of the compat competitors this is the Tascam DR10L, okay? Another cool little microphone setup, can fit in your pocket. Obviously you can see the H, uh, F1 is a little bit bigger, okay? But the reason that I absolutely love uh, the F1 compared to this is the screen size. You can see the screen size on this is really tiny. I can't tell you how many times I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording with this. And with this, I've got that big screen size where I can see everything that's going on and it really is a winner for me. I mean, I've used both over the years and I've just keep gravitating back to that F1 and the Tascam just sits in the closet or in the, in the, in the bag in the closet. Uh, so the F1 is great. So a couple of the things that I use it for, again, I use athletic tape. If I'm not wearing a t-shirt, which I typically am, uh, I will use a vampire clip, okay, that you can get with the Rode. Uh, the Rode also comes, I, I bought these things separate. It's called an Invisalign. Invisalav, I'm sorry, not Invisalign. I think that's for your teeth. And that is how I'm putting the lava layer underneath. They have these little plastic pieces um, and stickers that you can stick. But again, I just use athletic tape. It works real well. And then all of a sudden, I have a great way to get audio, even outside, anywhere. They do have a windscreen uh, for it, which you could stick through and actually help if you're in a real windy area. But for me, it just works so well to be able to live up. And I want you to think about if you were like a wedding uh, photographer or somebody, could you imagine if you had like 10 of these and you put them on all the wedding party and then you could record all the audio from the entire wedding and maybe have three or four cameras uh, like this GH5, which uh, you know shoots in 4K and you could build an entire movie of the wedding. How cool is that? Or on a family trip or something, kind of the same thing. Uh, you could get a couple of these and you could get all the audio and then collect it and really bring it together and to make some really cool things. Remember with video, it's pretty interesting. I'm getting better at the video quality. I still got a ways to go. My lighting's coming in today. Uh, we'll be shooting with better lighting. Right now I got one light here. I've got some backlighting, but we're gonna have a couple lights uh, that are coming in. Also be able to adjust the color temperature. So it'll be better. But one thing I can tell you, people will watch a bad video if the audio's good, but what they won't do is watch a, a bad video or a good video with bad audio. So audio is really critical and finding the best way to do that is yes, shotgun mics work, <coughs> they're hand free, excuse me, and they do work out really well. But with the zoom, I know I can get good audio anywhere. And basically I'll show you how I do this. I just uh, sync the audio. A lot of people say, well, how do you sync the audio? It takes two seconds in Final Cut. Literally I press a button, brings them together. I delete the audio in one track and we're ready to go. So the zoom F1 is the real winner here. I think it's a, a great device. It's a couple hundred bucks. Um, and you can use it for so many different things. Maybe you want to go out and do a podcast on, you know, while you're walking. Maybe you want to put the microphone on the end and capture some stuff. I'm a big fan of Zoom products. I do have their multi-microphone um, uh, input unit. Uh, I do have the Rode Podcaster unit that I will go over. So I, I do like their, their device. I like Zooms. I like Rode. Those are kind of the brands that I've been using over the years, and they just work for me, whether it's the Podcaster or the um, 
or the Zoom um, H1N1, I believe, is the one that I've got. Uh, I will do some reviews on, on my podcasting setup. I do use a Shure SM7B microphone. I don't use a Rode microphone, uh, but I will do that one day too. If you'd like to, leave a comment if you'd like to see my podcasting gear. But anyways, Tech Tuesday today, wanted to let you in on a little secret here, the Zoom. I put it underneath here, it's there, and it allows me to have great uh, audio with my videos. So I'll keep bringing you some great ideas and thoughts. As you know, that's what I do and hopefully share with you some ideas that help you. It's a great little nifty device that you can always capture good audio. Again, it's kind of a set it and forget it thing uh, where the task cam I had a little bit of a problem with. I just couldn't figure out if I was recording or not and one too many errors led me to this little device and I couldn't be happier. So the Zoom F1 is today's field recorder kind of idea of the day. Works fantastic for picking up audio and you can hear it right here. All right, so as always, if you don't mind subscribing, love to have you be a part of this channel. We're having fun videos almost every single day. And of course, those comments. What are you using to record audio? Love to hear from you and love to hear from you and, and, and the things you're doing, right? That's what we're doing here on this channel. Okay, until tomorrow and the next one, go have a fantastic day. I hope you're having a good one already and I will see you again right here on the channel. Go do it to it.